Well, I'm here at the University of Birmingham's Medical School, which is part of the Birmingham Cancer Research UK Centre. I'm here to meet professors and researchers and find out exactly where the money for Race for Life goes. So, Professor, tell me exactly what you do here in this lab. Well, what we do here is we look for new targets that we can aim drugs at in the treatment of cancer. So, in particular, we specialise in studying the blood vessels that feed the tumours. The idea being that if you can cut off those blood vessels, then you starve the tumour, and in that way you can then eradicate it. And why is this work so vital? Because we need new cancer therapies. I mean, the current therapies that we have at the moment, especially the drugs, have many, many side effects and they make the patients very sick. So what we're trying to do is to find new drugs that don't have those side effects. Why is it so important that people you know, do keep fundraising so that labs like this can exist? Well, basically it's because cancer research, although people have been at it a very long time, it still has a very long way to go. So like I said at the beginning, the therapies that we have for cancer are still in many ways very inadequate and I'm sure that we can do a lot better but we can't develop those quickly. And it takes a lot of time and effort by many people to bring forward new treatments. So we're just interrupting Pete now to find out what you're up to. Pete, tell us exactly what you're doing here. Yeah, so um, I'm just setting up a PCR reaction. So that stands for polymerase chain reaction. Um, and that we basically use this to amplify specific regions of DNA. So you extract your DNA from your cells um, that you get from culture. Um, and then you, you're looking for specific genes. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, it's very complicated. So show us how that all works here then. Yeah, so, so what we've got is um, we have our enzyme, which so is, is that, here. Is that blood? No, so, th so what you've actually got is you've got a mix of a few different things. So, uh -huh. so one of them is the enzyme. The red that you see is actually a dye. It's just so that when you load it on, on your gel to separate it later, um, you, you can see how far it's run and you don't run it off the gel. Got you. Um, so so that, that's what that is. Um, we also have our primers that I was telling you about here, um, which will match a specific bit of DNA, and your DNA samples. Uh, and these are all mixed with some water. So um, we mix them together, um, and then we'll put that in a machine, um, which will run the reaction, uh, and you'll see the results later. So Tracy, why is it so important that people take part in Race for Life? Um, to take part in Race for Life, it's, it's so, so crucial that um, we can continue fundraising for the scientists here in the labs. Um, we raised £5 million last year for the, the researchers. Wow. So um, yeah, we're encouraging people all the time to take Race for Life because it's imperative for the, the research that we do here. And what about people that are maybe a little bit apprehensive, not done one before? Why would you urge them to take part? Well, race is really literally for anybody, um, obviously for ladies, but um, because of the event, you can kind of walk, jog or run, take it at your own pace. I mean, I've had ladies of 100 take part before, so there's really no excuse. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, if you do run a walk, you know, it's, there's a real sense of achievement once you've taken part as well. So I'm with Sarah, a research technician here at the University of Birmingham. Um, Sarah, what's the name of what we're going to be doing again? We're going to be doing some gel electrophoresis. OK. <laughs> um, <laughs> And ultimately, what is this trying to sh show us? Well, this shows us um, various components in a sample. And what we've got here is some DNA samples. And we're going to put the sample into our gel, run some electricity through it, which will separate the sample by size. So we can see, say, a very big piece of DNA. We can separate that from a very small piece of DNA, and we can see what DNA is in there. And what are you trying to get from that, that research afterwards? Well, if, for example, there's a gene in one sample and not in another sample, then we can detect that from here. And we can use it if there's a gene that we know is interesting in cancer. We can see whether it's present or not. We're going to, to load these samples of DNA using a pipette. And we take up the sample and then load them into each well in turn. You make that look very seamless. <laughs> so what happens to this next? Well, we'll run some electricity through it, which will separate out all the bits of DNA, and then we can view it under um, a machine that uses UV, and we can get our result. What an amazing and inspirational way to spend an afternoon. It's so important that we try and raise as much money from Race for Life as possible so that these doctors can carry on doing their fantastic work.